What's up guys? Um, I'm the maintainer of PR Augmented Reality and I want to do a quick walkthrough of the, of the internals of the framework for those who want to extend it, customize it, or contribute. If you don't already know what uh, the framework is, make sure to go check out the previous part of this video or uh, go check it out on GitHub, the wikis, all that stuff. Um, so let's get right to it. So when you download this, uh, this framework, you'll see there's actually, there are actually only five classes and a settings file. So there's a manager, controller, location math, uh, AR object, and a radar. Um, so the manager is what you use to interact with the entire framework. It's the only file that your app, the rest of your app actually needs to know about. You'll just pass it the data, the location, all that stuff. Uh, the controller is the expert that basically builds uh, AR overlays and objects using your data. The location math is responsible for tracking motion and locations. Uh, AR object is obviously the representation of AR objects and their overlays. And the AR radar is the representation of the radar that you can able to show uh, your POIs. Um, the settings is actually fairly interesting because there's a bunch of stuff you can customize in there already like uh, the refresh rate, uh, the, the base position of your AR on, on the view, uh, the width, the size, you know, all that kind of stuff. So this is kind of your starting place for customizing uh, PR augmented reality. So on to what uh, those classes actually are. So PR manager is a facade singleton. It'll act as a facade for uh, the framework. And as you can see with the um, shared manager property, uh, it's a singleton and you'll call it by calling it as a shared manager. Um, the AR controller is an expert controller. The location math is actually also a, a singleton uh, just because uh, we don't want to instantiate gyroscopes and all that stuff multiple times. Uh, AR object and AR radars are just uh, data objects. So onto the main section which is you know how does all this stuff work and how does it what are the steps so there's quite a lot of steps uh, but i wanted to go in into detail just to help you guys uh, know exactly how it all flows so the first thing is instantiating the manager so your view controller will instantiate the manager then uh, the manager will create the containers and camera uh, as you can see inside of the um, in it with screen size so it'll basically instantiate all of the, the main variables and containers um, so then your view controller the next step is that is to actually start AR so in your view controller you'll start AR with data and a location so that'll go back to the manager which will actually tell, uh, so for one thing, tell the location expert to start tracking. Uh, number two, uh, the AR controller to build the AR overlays. Number three, to set up those overlays uh, and the data in, uh, in the AR view. And then if you actually told it to start with radar, set up the radar. And finally, uh, start the running the camera and then it'll return uh, the entire AR view and camera and radar as we've seen you know, in the previous video and there you, you, take, you make use of everything and put it where you want it to be. Then uh, the last two things uh, are that the manager actually um, starts the refresh timer based on the refresh rate uh, that is set in the settings. Um, by default it's 100 hertz and then it'll basically give update your view controller with uh, the position that's pretty much how the flow of all this works so if you want to customize it some more there's a, a guide called expanding on it in the wiki which gives you kind of the pinpoints and the interesting spots that you want to be customizing the framework if you want to change you know how it looks how it moves and and what kind of data it shows so um, some interesting stuff make sure to go check that out all right, I hope I was clear enough. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.